what is up guys welcome back to another video today i will be upgrading my rom i bought this kit it is a 32 gigabytes for channel it has intel xmp so it will be overclocked automatically to 3000 megahertz i will be upgrading for my previous 2400 megahertz dual channel and 16 gigabytes so i am going from 16 to 32 gigabytes so let's crack this puppy up here and see how it looks and what it has. Okay. HyperX Fury DDR4. I recommend not to touch the gold part of the RAM because the oil of your fingers can get to the part and then it can cause problems. Let's leave that to the side. The first thing I recommend, I already have it done, but the first thing I recommend is to unplug your power from your PC. You could do it standing up, but I recommend flipping it around. The reason is because you work against, you work with gravity. Oh, this thing is so heavy. You work with gravity and it's going to be easier to install the RAM. Okay, so I will remove this old RAM out of here. This is my dual channel DDR4 2400 MHz, 8 gigabyte each. I will be removing them forever. <laughs> And I'm going to install these new puppies. Okay. So 
let's turn it on and put to the BIOS. It is F2 for this computer. At this moment the computer might be doing testing. So that is why it's taking so long. But it will definitely boot to the BIOS. Guys, I apologize if I am barely talking. I am not used to talking on camera. I'm much less doing this. It's pretty much doing a live video. Okay, so here we put it up with 32 gigabytes, but the speed is 2400 megahertz. So I will click on advance over clock tab, and I see that XMP profile is disabled. So I'm going to set it on profile 2 maybe. Um, nope. Profile 2 is 2600, 2666 megahertz. Let's try profile 1. 3000. 3, there you go. 3000 megahertz, guys. We did it. So I saved the settings and I will put back to a BIOS to see if the settings are saved. Current RAM frequency 3000 megahertz. So let's book to Windows and see what do we see in Windows. Okay, so I'm gonna press Control Alt Delete and see what speed the Task Manager shows me. Three thousand. Three thousand, guys. Let's see what CPU Z shows, shall we? After this guys, by the way I will be doing a benchmark rendering videos and with 4 games to see what is the difference of going from dual to quad channel and more mm -hmm. speed. Previously it would say channel number dual, now it says quad. There you have it guys, this is only a short video of how to install a RAM in your computer and check if you have the correct speed and the correct settings in the BIOS. So next up is a benchmark.